Myrna Loy was a Golden Age actress who appeared in a number of classic films, including The Thin Man and The Best Years of Our Lives. Despite being regarded as an iconic actress, Myrna was never recognized during her lifetime by the Academy. Join Facts First as we explore how Myrna Loy was the nicest actress in Hollywood, but she was no saint. Myrna Loy was typecast early on. Myrna Loy was born August 2, 1905, in Helena, Montana. She soon found her way to Los Angeles at age 13. She could be found working as a chorus girl during her teen years, and that's what eventually led her down the path to Hollywood stardom, though success didn't come overnight. In the beginning, she was typecast in the role of exotic villains, which was odd given the actress's American heritage. Producers said that the slight slant to Myrna's eyes made her perfect for playing Asian stereotypes, and once these roles started coming in, they didn't stop. She didn't enjoy being typecast due to her appearance, and she went on to fight discrimination like this over the course of her career. As time went on, Myrna became a woman who knew what she wanted in Hollywood, and she wasn't willing to be pushed around. Still, her generally nice demeanor and moral behavior made her a standout amongst much of her contemporaries. Myrna garnered a reputation of being the nicest girl in Hollywood, though she wasn't afraid to speak up if she thought things weren't going the way they should. It was her role in The Thin Man that finally allowed her to stretch out and try new things. The film was a success, and meteor roles for Myrna followed. Her career lasted for many decades, and she received quite a bit of acclaim. However, she was never recognized with an Academy Award. Some have suggested Myrna may have been the most talented old Hollywood actress never to be given such a recognition. Her breakout role in The Thin Man Myrna started in silent film, but she ended up being one of the few silent film actresses who found success once sound became the new normal. In fact, she found more success in talkies than in silent features. She appeared in dozens and dozens of films, some of which remain more popular than others. Besides The Thin Man, some of her other popular films included Live Old Lady and The Best Years of Our Lives. The Best Years of Our Lives won the Academy Award for Best Picture, though no awards recognition came from Myrna personally. Still, it can't be denied that she was a huge star adored by the public. Some have suggested that one of the reasons Myrna never received awards recognition was because of her outspoken politics. There was a time when being an outspoken liberal in the entertainment industry was to the detriment of your popularity. Myrna's story stands as proof, though the actress was still able to work consistently due to her otherwise professional demeanor and the fact that she was in demand. Later on in her career, she found herself a critic of the Vietnam War. However, by the late 60s, being critical of the American government wasn't quite as radical as it had been previously. She was one of few old Hollywood stars outspoken in their opposition to the House Un-American Activities Committee. She opposed it on the basis that it was a violation of the stars' freedom as Americans. Myrna was certainly a nice girl who stood up for what she believed in, but you didn't want to get on her bad side. Before we tell you more, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Myrna Loy vs. Adolf Hitler While Myrna always seemed to know what she wanted in her career, she was never quite sure what she wanted when it came to love. She was married four times over the course of her life and died single after deciding marriage was no longer for her. When she decided to give up her romantic life, she became that much more passionate about her Hollywood career and her activism. Before becoming a vocal critic of the House Un-American Activities Committee, she was one of the first people in Hollywood to speak up against the dangers of Adolf Hitler. Some may not believe it, but there was a time when Hollywood was actually on Hitler's side. Before World War II began, Germany was seen as a lucrative film market, and studios could be found pandering to people and politicians all over. Of course, Adolf Hitler didn't come out of the gate committing the great atrocities he would become known for, but there were still signs that he was bad news. Myrna's outspoken criticism of Hitler at a time when studios were trying to pander to him caused trouble for her, though she didn't let that stop her from continuing to advocate for Hollywood to boycott Germany altogether. Later in her career, she used her Hollywood clout to endorse political leaders and work as a spokesperson for the United Nations. But despite this, the actress remains best known for her work in Golden Age classics like The Thin Man and not for her progressive activism. Myrna Loy loved William Powell as a friend. Myrna Loy didn't just star in The Thin Man, but she also starred in the classic film's numerous sequels. She played the female lead, while actor William Powell played the main character. 
When all was said and done, Myrna and William worked together on over a dozen pictures. They worked together so much, fans began spreading rumors that the two were carrying on a secret affair. But both stars remained adamant in the years leading up to their deaths that they were nothing but great friends and adoring co-workers. The two certainly had a great deal of respect for each other, though Myrna claimed that if she'd been carrying on a romantic relationship with her co-star, she wouldn't have been able to get any work done. William was Myrna's favorite person to work with, and her second favorite was William Wyler. William Wyler directed Myrna in the aforementioned The Best Years of Our Lives, which most people believe contains her best all-around acting performance. Myrna Loy stood up for civil rights causes, but also made sure she got treated right in the industry. Early on in her career, Myrna could be found striking against MGM because she believed she was getting paid too little. Her strike was successful, and the actress ended up being paid more by the studio for her work on subsequent films. Other Notable Things Myrna Loy Did During World War II, Myrna worked for the Red Cross. Her work saw the actress helping to arrange for popular performers to visit hospitalized soldiers wounded in battle. One of the many political candidates Myrna passionately endorsed was John F. Kennedy. By the time he was president, Myrna was on the verge of retirement. She stopped working following the 60s and remained in retirement until her death a few decades later. In opposition to the House on american Activities Committee, she and several friends started up a committee of their own. Those included John Houston and William Wyler, and it went by the name of the Committee for the First Amendment. As one might imagine, they advocated for political freedoms. The Hollywood Reporter criticized her by suggesting that she was, in fact, a communist. Myrna then threatened to sue the publication for a million dollars, and they followed up by publishing a retraction as soon as possible. Now it's time to hear from you. What's your favorite memory of Myrna Loy? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content. By the way, if you haven't joined Factsverse as a member yet, be sure to look below this video and click the join button. By becoming a paid member of Factsverse, you'll get access to exclusive video content that you won't find anywhere else. This includes some of our more mature content that isn't suitable for public audiences, which includes topics like Hollywood actresses who posed for Playboy and some of the steamiest moments in movie history. Plus, you can enjoy these videos completely ad-free. Our biggest fans will notice they also get badges next to their name when they leave comments on our videos. We pay special attention to comments from our members and so do other viewers. So, if you want exclusive content from Factsverse or inside access to discussions with other community members, click the Join button to get started for just $4.99. There are hours of members-only videos waiting for you, with new videos added every month. And we're actively working on bringing even more features to help fans like you connect with other members and get more of your favorite content. Just click Join, and we'll see you inside the Membership tab.